Okay, now let's see how we can change our camera to always look at our boss. And what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna change the target arm length so that the camera gets away when we're not too close, when we we start getting away. Otherwise, you've seen it in the beginning of the video what I'm, what I'm trying to achieve, so let's do that. So first I wanna determine what's my desired arm length okay and arm length is right here and what it does is very simple my camera so if I select my camera boom which basically is a spring arm component by the way and I change my arm length I can get my camera close or further away from my character and this works really good for and it's usually useful this technique for top-down uh, games or for fight games when the camera is on the side and getting them like it's an, on a 2D uh, plane. So for this, uh, I'm gonna simulate a top-down game, kind of kind of like a top-down game. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put my camera way up. So if I just go to my rotation on the Y, where is my rotation here? Okay, wrong one. No, it's actually the right one, but if by any chance you come to rotation and you start seeing that happen, it's because you got use pawn control rotation on the camera. If I take that off, I can now control my camera. And I want my camera to be something like that, and I probably want my arm length to be really big if I'm doing a top down. So I get something like this. Now to keep the camera from doing all that crazy stuff, I can just turn all this stuff off. And now if I play, I get like a top-down experience. Okay? Another thing I can do if, for example, I want to... Let's say my character has an aim or something like that, and I want, I want to go around this character and keep my aim on him. One thing you can do is you can enable the camera lag down here. So enable camera lag, and you have also have rotation lag, but for here we're not even rotating, so that's fine. Enable camera lag, make it really small, like 0 0.01, and then the camera max distance is gonna accompany, is gonna go with your character. If it's zero, bye bye character. If it's not zero. He has a little bit of movement before the camera starts following him, which is similar to what we're going to do with the uh, with the enemy there. So if I increase this a little a little bit more, that's too much, right? I get this kind of behavior, and if I'm if my camera is really up, then it's more like a top down, like. We used to see on, on some Top Gun games. So if I just come here to my rotation and make my camera way up there. Okay, now we got this behavior. And if I come here and let's say I'm aiming and shooting him, I can go around him. And what's happening there is my my probe for my spring arm. So if I turn that off, that's not going to happen anymore. Okay, so now that's not gonna happen and I can be here shooting him going around him and my aim is not gonna move so if you're in a gamepad or something like that that's what that's preferable now I'm, I'm using the WASD keys to move but if I move my mouse while I'm moving you can see what's happening I'm just I'm pressing W and I'm moving my mouse and that is what happens so to stop that from happening, you probably will want your mouse to be uh, the aim anyway. So you can come here to these controls and you can just turn this stuff off. And later on, if you want to move your camera if you go off by some reason, uh, you want to move your camera in your level, you can use these controls, that controller pa uh, pitch input um, and yaw input. But for these inputs here, the turn and the lookup, you probably want to use uh, the aim for the character. So by turning these off, I make sure that when I play, my character 
uh, the WASD keys are always going to behave properly. Even if I move my mouse, which I am right now, nothing happens. My character is always facing this direction. Of course, you got to build your maps in a way that supports this movement.